old turkey master here. Uh, got something a little different today. Uh, talk to you about uh, this week. I got my ham radio license. Uh, I had my ham license years ago and let it expire and uh, I got a boy up in Maryland and he said he was going to get his so I said well I'll get mine back so I took the test for the technician's class and passed it and you can do it all online and all you young people out there it would behoove, behoove you to get your ham radio license. The test is not hard. Uh, there's three classes. There's a technician's class, a general class, and amateur extra. You have to get them in order. And you start with a tech, and then you go to a general, and when you do, you get more of the frequency bands uh, to transmit on and sometimes you get more power to transmit on. You can transmit up to 1500 watts. And uh, I, I like it. Uh, one of the reasons we got it, when you're out of hunting, say you in Colorado elk hunting or you up in Maine grouse hunting, you're out of cell phone range and so you want to call home, check on things at home, uh, see how your family's doing. You can get on your ham radio and if you can pull up a repeater uh, in that area, there's a system on there where you can uh, email over the radio wave. So you can contact your family and they can email you right back and they don't need the license to reply uh, but you got to have one to transmit what it does it links it to the internet and another uh, thing for the, with the internet it's a uh, they got a program on there called Echo Link. And what Echo Link does, uh, it's like ham radio over the internet. And uh, if I can find it here, this is the Echo Link app. I don't know if you, how good you can see this. But all you need is a link to the internet and a microphone. And this is the repeater here in the town I live in. I just click on that and click connect. And you can see down here where it's connected to the repeater. And if I turn my mic on and you key the mic with your space bar. So I'm going to turn the mic on and I'm going to hit and you'll see right down here it'll say transmit. And my call sign is uh, KQ4DAN. KQ4DAN monitoring KQ4DAN that means I'm just listening I got to turn my speaker on here uh, and if, if anybody wanted to reply they could just call my call sign and reply right back to me or I can get on there and I can say uh, KQ4DAN CQ, 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 and that just means I want to talk to anybody that's listening. And they'll contact you back with their call sign and you can start a conversation. 
And the good thing about this echo link, I'm going to disconnect. Uh, I open this location and it's got repeaters all over the world. Uh, right there it shows Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, Oceania, South America. And you can pull up a repeater in England, you can pull up one in Australia, you can pull up one in Japan, uh, all over the world. And before when I was on Echo Link with my previous license, I pulled a repeater up in Sydney, Australia, and I CQ'd, and uh, my boy answered me back on the mobile, and he was going back into the outback to go rock climbing. There's a big rock formation out there. He said they was going to climb rocks, and uh, ham radio is really popular in Australia because there's a large portion of the country in the outback where there's no cell signal. It's the only way you got to communicate. So there's a lot of ham operators in Australia. And they're friendly people. They love to talk to you. Uh, I also pulled a ham, radio, a ham repeater up in Okinawa, Japan. And I talked to a, a Japanese gentleman and he was a really famous ham operator. People all over the world knew him. Uh, and he was on a handheld. And it was like midnight in Japan. And he heard me calling CQ and answered me. And uh, he said his, uh, a typhoon had blowed his main antenna down. The reason he was on the handheld. But we talked. Him on the other side of the world. Just as plain as day. Uh, it's amazing what you can do with uh, electronics nowadays. Uh, you can do a lot of things with a ham. It's got a, a built-in... Uh, uh, you can find uh, what they call it. Anyway, uh, you can pull up beacons in the ocean. There's all these beacons that are transmitting constantly, and they transmit the weather condition, uh, temperature, and all that. And I guess if you was on a boat in the ocean, it would uh, come in real handy. And also, when the guys went to the moon, landed on the moon the last time, they left an antenna on the moon. And they call it a moonshot. And if you can hit that antenna just right, it'll reflect that signal back to your radio. Uh, that's real interesting. You can talk to the International Space Station. Uh, there's a lot of amateur radio. That's what they call ham is amateur radio. There's a lot of amateur radio satellites up there that you can get a beacon off of. Uh, the ham community was responsible for the first drone flight because that's what controls the drone is ham radio signal. They've got a special band uh, just for that. And uh, it's really interesting. And you can go to ham test dot org and you can pull that website free of charge they've got all the questions on there and you can study to get your ham radio i'm studying now to take a test for my general license that way i can talk uh, on more bands and high frequency is uh, where you can talk long distance. You've got to have be able to talk uh, high frequency. But uh, it would be who you, especially if you're young. We're trying to get all the young people 
interested in it we can because of the internet now uh, not as many people interested in radio but ham is way more structured it's not like CB it's a uh, way more disciplined and uh, it'll it'll uh, like eating peanuts you get started you can't quit you just want to do more and more on ham you can meet a lot of people and uh, make a lot of contacts and I'm going to get a mobile and put my pickup truck so I can talk local on it and eventually I'll get me a base station and put me up a, a bigger antenna where I can try to talk long distance. But Echo Link, all you need is a computer and a microphone. Uh, you can talk all over the world. Uh, and it's easy to do. Just get on there and do it. Uh, I think it cost me $14 to take the test. I took it online. Uh, and then the fee for the license was uh, $35. I sent it online. I got They sent my license in an email. I just printed it out. And uh, so I'm, and just as soon as uh, they've got a database, FCC regulates ham radio. They've got a database on there and just as soon as they put your call sign in that database, you can start transmitting. Uh, and they send you a link where you can pull it up and uh, it's, it needs nothing to it, especially you young kids that that are more computer savvy than the old turkey master. Uh, it's kind of, <laughs> it takes me longer to do things on the computer and, and my little grandson, 12 years old, phew, he can just run through it. Uh, no problem. And there's no age limit. A 12 year old can get a ham license. Uh, there's, there's been People, I know uh, that guy in Okinawa said his seven-year-old daughter had her ham license. Uh, so, do it. You'll, you'll not regret it. And another little thing, my sweet little granddaughter, McKinley Ryan, I hope you're watching this, Kenley. There's a movie on Hulu. And the name of it is Prey, P-R-E-Y. And uh, it's about an Indian girl that's fighting these aliens. And that Indian girl looks like Kenley, acts like Kenley, got Kenley's attitude. If you want to see my granddaughter on the big screen, you go to Hulu and watch Prey, P-R-E-Y, and it's a really good movie. But now that's Kenley Ryan on the big screen. Old Turkey Master over now.